Hey guys, it's Archie Luxury here on the Archie Luxury channel. And today guys, I want to talk about retirement. Retirement. And in my last video, I was talking about trying to find work after 50. That's right guys, if you guys don't remember, I suffered the horrors of a burglary when I came back from America in 2022. And I really wanted to walk out of YouTube, forget it. And then I thought maybe I should get another job, get a job looking for work at 50. Couple things pulled me back, of course. Number one is the fact that I haven't worked in IT for over, for nearly nine years now. Number two, I'm 50 years old. That's like being 60, 63 in any other industry. And I kind of think maybe I'm going about this the wrong way. Maybe instead of saying, you know what? I hate YouTube. I want to get another job. Maybe I should say, well, hang on, old boy. Maybe it's time to semi-retire. Retirement! Retirement. And I got to be honest with you. That is something I'd gladly embrace. The retirement lifestyle. Now, let's just have a look at this. So... If I wanted to retire, what stops me retiring? What stops me retiring? Money. There's 20 baht. It's about a dollar. Dollar. I need more of those. I need more money. However, if we adapt a different, different approach, we could say, well, hang on a minute, big boy. Hang on a minute. You're 50 years old. You gotta gear up. So instead of instead of trying to gear into a new career or job, how about you gear down? <laughs> now, there's two things in life you can do. You can either earn more money and find a better paying position, or you can spend it less. Spend less, work less. Now I got to be totally honest with you. In my case there, maybe I should consider retirement. Now, what do I mean? What do I mean by that? Well, I'm 50 years old. So if you wanted to gear down to retirement, obviously I still need money to come in. I have a mortgage, even though it's quite manageable, there's still a mortgage there. I have a car lease well actually it's not technically a lease it's a pcp <laughs> whatever that is uh it's a financial consumer higher purchase and you obviously have some consumer debt so maybe the best thing i can do if i want to gear up for retirement Maybe I got to look at myself and say, well, hey, fatso, let's, let's reduce debts. Let's reduce, uh, get rid of consumer debt. And the thing I've got to say is I'm quite happy to tell you, I actually was getting rid of debt. I was getting rid of debt. I had a few, you know, you have, I had a zip loan for the solar i had security screens what fuck lot of good those crim safe security screens did for me uh i had what else did i have we had ducted air conditioning had freedom furniture interest free 55 month finance so i've actually reduced paid a lot of this stuff out got rid of the shitty consumer debt. I've also in the process of getting rid of credit card debt. And what I should probably do is put some money 
savings aside and start getting rid of cons get rid of all my consumer debt and put some money aside to clear the mortgage. Now, I got to tell you something. I think maybe I got to go into a semi-retirement mindset. Now, in my case, I'm 50 years old and I've done a few silly things. I still have a mortgage on the home. I still have a car payment. So what I think I might do is, what I think the most sensible thing is, is to step number one. No more stupid consumer finance or debt at step number one. Number two, try and reduce credit cards and any financing I, that I can't pay out, reduce. Third thing is, is to maybe look at some semi-retirement options. Now for me, some semi-retirement could be this. I will do YouTube. I will, um, I do the daily live streaming. I do a stream for three hours in the morning and I do one for one and a half hours at night. Maybe keep doing that. That's a great income source. And try and put money away for retirement. And put some money away into, I'm putting, saving some money. Instead of spending it buying more shit, putting it away for when I want to finally pull the pin and retire. Now, the thing is, I could retire and still work part-time on my YouTube business. So I think I got to change my mindset. I want to go into semi-retirement mindset. So I'm 50 years old. So instead of saying, hey, Arch, I want to get a new job. Maybe the best thing to say is, hey, Arch, I want to gear down to retirement in five to 10 years. So the best thing you can do, now you don't have to retire 100% once you hit 55 or 60, but you can gear down. So what I mean by that is, I'm going to say to myself, well, you know what, Arch? I'm not going to lease another car once, you know, if things turn to shit for me, I can always give my car back. I can give that car back, get out of it. If, if uh, I can just keep it going, but I don't want to buy a more expensive one, maybe pay it off, maybe have it as a, if, if that car gives me a lot of joy and pleasure, maybe that's a great thing to hang on to. Maybe that is a really good thing to keep because it gives me pleasure. Maybe that's not a bad idea, keep the car, but don't buy a more expensive one. Don't incur more consumer finance. So I'm actually thinking of getting into semi-retirement phase. And what I mean by that, I want to gear up. So, for example, my house I got, I don't want to buy a bigger, more fancier house. <laughs> no! I want to stay with the one I've got. I want to stay with the house I've got. I don't want more finance. I don't want to owe more money. I want to get rid of of it. Now I'm actually I'll tell you this now. I owe we me and the wife owe about two hundred thousand dollars, just under two hundred on the house. I'm on a fixed <coughs> loan of one point nine nine percent. It's gonna come off the fixed loan at the uh August next year. Okay, so what I should do is keep enjoying that low rate, put some money into savings, which I can then dump into the mortgage once it becomes variable, because when it's fixed, I'm not able to put more money in because the penalties, because the penalty, well, and why would you want to put more in when the interest rate is one point under, at under 2%, under 2%. So 
don't do that. Keep that money invested and then plow it in <coughs> August next year. I might even sell a few watches off to pay even more off. Why not? Why not? Why not indeed? Pay more off. That'd be a fantastic concept. Pay more off. Why not pay more off? Why not? The other thing is, if I'm gearing up to semi-retirement, I don't want to incur any more consumer debt. No more interest-free finance deals. No more fintech finance. <clears throat> also, with the BMW, I'm kind of stuck in this car because I got an instant write-off. So if I sold it early, I've got to pay some of that back. <clears throat> so maybe the best thing I could do is... The best thing I can do is... <clears throat> Keep the car for the time being. Assess it later on, depending on... <coughs> assess it later, and depending on your financial position, you can either keep it or flip it. Flick it. Flick it. And I think the most important thing is that semi-retirement mindset. You don't want to start incurring more debt. You want to pay down debt, build up some reserves, and then I could... I could go semi-retired at 55. Maybe that's not a bad way to go. So, i got to be honest with you, it's very tough. Once you're over 50, finding a new job can be difficult. It can be hard. But, in my case, you've got to get that mindset right. Get that mindset. Maybe semi-retirement. Semi-retirement doing my YouTubes. Maybe that's, maybe that's the answer for me. Semi-retirement. Semi-retirement. And I could start, the kids, <clears throat> I'm almost the youngest kids, have got another year, this year and next year of high school. So then I could start traveling a bit more if I've got some money. If the YouTube, I could start pushing that. Who knows? There's many opportunities for me to follow. So, guys, that's what I'm thinking. Please tell me what you think. Like, subscribe, tell your friends. Put some comments below. Should I semi-retire? <coughs> Let me know. Comments below, and I will see you in the next one. It's over at 50. At 50... Not many people want to hire you. So, tell me what you guys think I should do. See you later. Nice one, Arch. Great feed. Hi, guys. It's Archie Luxury. Guys, I want to talk to you about David SW. David SW, David SW. Guys, if you are in America, if you are looking for a Rolex watch of your dreams, in fact, if you're looking for a contemporary, modern wristwatch, I strongly advise you to look at David SW. Guys, don't play the dealer games. Don't bring in chocolates or Krispy creams for your dealer, hoping to get a Rolex at retail. It's futile. Please, guys, save your dignity. Keep some pride. Go to David SW. I would highly recommend David SW, David SW. If you're in America and you're looking for a watch, go to David SW, David SW, David SW. Hey guys, Archie Luxury on the YouTube sensation, the Paul Pluto channel. Guys, I need you to help me out, guys. I can't survive on Google Ads alone. I need you to request a paid review. 50 US dollars, look down in the description. 50 US dollars, I will review your collection. I'll tell you what I think of it and I'll give you some pointers. 
The other thing is, guys, you can sponsor me on Patreon. Patreon allows you to pay a couple bucks a month, a dollar, two dollars, five dollars, whatever you want. And it keeps me going on YouTube because, guys, I'm in a niche. Nobody can make money out of the views I get. The views are crap because it's a small, specialized area. And I don't talk about garbage for the sake of views. Guys, sponsor me on Patreon. Look down below and I will see you in the next one. Yeah.